Big changes are coming to Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology. Both local and state leaders, along with scientists, held a virtual groundbreaking today to expand the campus. Our Kenesha Dees spoke with them on the impact this will have in Alabama. I'm here at the campus of Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology, where this campus will expand at least 6,000 square feet more in hopes of changing the game in patient care as well as agriculture. We're going to have the global headquarters for Discovery Life Sciences is going to be in this new facility. We're able to combine all of our lab capabilities uh, across the U.S. into one uh, one facility, and so. It's, it's pretty exciting. Discovery Life Sciences says this expansion greatly impacts their research. We help them from early discovery all the way clini through clinical trials. And so the way I think about this is that we are trying to, um, to, to shorten the timeline uh, in bringing new drugs and diagnostics to the patient care setting. So that's what we do. So we provide everything from cells to sequencing to support research. This expansion also includes seven greenhouses at 6,000 square feet. Research there will help farmers struggling with their crops. What trying to do is take this, uh, this collection of information we've been building over the years and figure out how can we really directly apply it to accelerate uh, crop development for Alabama. Leaders say this not only impacts the Tennessee Valley, but the state. We have a, uh, a large scale barley trial uh, going on right now, which is with uh, Alabama A&M and also uh, Auburn University at the field stations. And that's to evaluate a bunch of different barley germplasm, that's varieties of barley, to see how they do in Alabama under current weather conditions, current climate conditions in Alabama. Putting the Valley first, Kenesha Dees, WZDX News.